Why do some countries drive on the left and others on the right? Well, about a 35% of the world population drives on the left and other countries that do are mostly old British colonies. It's weird and complicated, but there's a good reason for it. In the past, almost anyone traveled on the left. That was the most sensible option for feudal, violent societies, since most people are right-handed. Swordsmen preferred to keep to the left in order to have the right arm nearer to an opponent and their scabbard further from him. Moreover, it reduced the chance of scabbard worn on the left hitting other people. Also, you know, a right-handed person finds it easier to mount a horse from the left side of the horse and that would be a lot difficult if that person was wearing a sword which would be worn on the left it is safer to mount and dismount towards the side of the road rather than in the middle of traffic so if one mounts on the left then the horse would be ridden on the left side of the road In late 1700s, teamsters in France and the United States began hauling farm products in big wagons pulled by several pairs of horses. These wagons had no driver's seat. Instead, the driver sat on the left rear horse so he could keep his arm free to lash the team. Since he was sitting on the left, he naturally wanted everyone to pass on the left so he could look down and make sure he kept clear of the oncoming wagon's wheels. Therefore, he kept to the right side of the road. In Russia, in 1709, the Danish envoy under Tsar Peter the Great noted the widespread custom of, for traffic in Russia to pass on the right, but it was only in 1752 that Empress Elizaveta Petrovna officially issued an edict for traffic to keep on the right. In addition, the French Revolution of 1789 gave a huge impetus to right-handed travel in Europe. The fact is, before the revolution, the aristocracy traveled on the left of the road, forcing the peasantry over to the right. But after the storming of the Bastille and the subsequent events, aristocrats preferred to keep a low profile and join the peasants on the right. An official keep right rule was introduced in Paris in 1794, more or less parallel to Denmark, where driving on the right had been made compulsory in 1793. Later, Napoleon's conquests spread the right, the new rightism, to the Low Countries, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Switzerland, Germany, Poland, and many parts of Spain and Italy, the states that had resisted Napoleon, kept left. Britain and the Austro-Hungarian Empire and Portugal. 
this European division between the left and the right hand nations could remain fixed for more than 100 years until after the First World War, although left driving Sweden ceded Finland to right driving Russia. After the Finnish War 1808 to 1809, Swedish law, including traffic regulations, remained valid in Finland for another 50 years. It wasn't until 1858 that an Imperial Russian decree made Finland swap sides. The trend among nations over the years had been toward driving on the right, but Britain has done its best to stave of global homogenization. With the expansion of travel and road building in the 1800s, traffic regulations were made in every country. Left-hand driving was made mandatory in Britain in 1835. Countries which were part of the British Empire followed suit. This is why to this very day, India, Australasia and the former British colonies in Africa go left. An exemption to the rule, however, is Egypt, which had been conquered by Napoleon before becoming a British dependency. Japan was never part of the British Empire, but its traffic also goes to the left. Although the origin of this habit goes back to the Edo period 1603 to 1868, it wasn't until 1872 that this unwritten rule became more or less official. That was the year when Japan's first railway was introduced, built with technical aid from the British. Yep, they helped them. Gradually a massive network of railways and tram tracks was built. And of course all trains and trams rode on the left hand side. It took another half century till in 1924 left sided driving was finally written in law. When the Dutch arrived in Indonesia in 1596, they brought along their habit of driving left. It wasn't until Napoleon conquered the Netherlands and the Dutch started driving on the right. Most of their colonies, however, remained on the left, as did Indonesia in Suriname. In the early years of English colonization of North America, English driving customs were followed and the colonies drove on the left. After gaining independence from England, they were anxious of all remaining links with their British colonial past and gradually changed to the right hand driving. Incidentally, the influence of other European immigrants, especially the French, should not be underestimated. The first law requiring drivers to keep right was passed in Pennsylvania in 1792, and similar laws were passed in New York in 1804 and New Jersey in 1813. Despite the developments in the US, some parts of Canada continued to drive on the left until shortly after the Second World War. The territory controlled by the French, from Quebec to Louisiana, drove on the right, but the territory occupied by the English, British Columbia, 
New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward's Island, and Newfoundland, Cape Left, British Columbia, and the Atlantic provinces switched to the right in the 1920s in order to conform with the rest of Canada and the USA. Newfoundland drove on the left until 1947 and joined Canada in 1949. In Europe, the remaining left driving countries switched one by one to driving on the right. Portugal made the switch in 1928. The change took place in the same day in the whole country, including the colonies. Territories, however, which bordered other left-driving countries were exempted. This is why Macau, now a special administrative region of China, Goa, now part of India, and Portuguese East Africa, now Mozambique, kept the old system. East Timor, which borders left driving Indonesia, did change to the right, but left traffic was introduced by the Indonesians in 1975. In Italy, the practice of driving on the right first began in the late 1890s. The first Italian highway code issued June 1912 stated that all vehicles had to drive on the right. However, cities and tram network could retain left-hand driving. If they placed warning signs of their first city borders. The 1923 decree is a bit strict, but Rome and the northern cities of Milan, Turin, and Genoa could still keep left until further orders from the Ministry of Public Works. By the mid-1920s, right-handed driving finally became standard throughout the country. Rome made the chains on the 1st of March 1925 and Milan on 3 August 1926. Up till the 1930s, Spain lacked national traffic regulations. Some parts of the country drove on the right, for example, Barcelona, and other parts drove on the left, for example, Madrid. On the 1st October 1924, Madrid switched to driving on the right. The breakup of the Austro-Hungarian Empire caused no change. Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and Hungary continued to drive on the left. Austria itself was something of a curiosity. Half of the country drove on the left and half on the right. Not surprisingly, the driving line was precisely the area affected by Napoleon's conquests in 1805. The Austrian states of Vorarlberg, Tyrol and Carinthia, as well as the western half of Salzburg, switched to driving on the right between 1921 and 1935. When Germany annexed Austria in 1938, Hitler ordered the rest of Austria to make the switch overnight. The change threw the driving public into turmoil because motorists were unable to see most road signs. In Vienna, it proved impossible to change the trams overnight. So while all other traffic took 
to the right hand side of the road. The trams continued to run on the left several weeks. Czechoslovakia and Hungary among the last states to on the mainland of Europe to keep left changed to the right after being invaded by Germany in 1939 and late 1944 respectively. Meanwhile, the power of the right kept growing steadily. American cars were designed to be driven on the right by locating the driver's control on the vehicle's left side, while the mass production of reliable and economical cars in the United States initial exports used the same design, and out of necessity many countries changed the rule of the road. Gibraltar changed to right-hand driving in 1929 and China in 1946. Since neighboring Hong Kong was a British colony at the time, it continued to keep on the left. When China resumed control over the city in 1997, after 156 years of British colonial rule, the Basic Law adopted guaranteeing that Hong Kong's way of life will remain unchanged until 2047. Korea now drives right, but only because it passed directly from Japanese colonial rule to American and Russian influence at the end of the Second World War. Pakistan also considered changing to the right in the 1960s but ultimately decided not to do it. The main argument against the shift was that camel trains often drove through the night while the drivers were dozing. The difficulty in teaching old camels new tricks was decisive in forcing Pakistan to rejecting change. Nigeria, a former British colony, had been driving on the left with British imported right-hand drive cars, but when it gained independence, it wanted to throw off its colonial past and shifted to driving on the right in 1972. After the Second World War, left driving Sweden, the odd one out in mainland Europe, felt increasing pressure to change sides in order to conform with the rest of the continent. The problem was that all their neighbors already drove on the right side and since there are a lot of small roads without border guards leading into Norway and Finland, one had to remember in which country one was. In 1955, the Swedish government held a referendum on the introduction of right-hand driving. Although no less than 82.9 voted no to the plebiscite, the Swedish parliament passed a law on the conversion to right-hand driving in 1963. Finally, the change took place on Sunday, 3rd September, 1967 at 5 o'clock in the morning. The day was referred to Daghor, in English H Day. The H stands for hogger traffic. The Swedish word for right-hand traffic. All traffic with private motor-driven vehicles was prohibited for four hours one hour before and one hour after the conversion. In order to be able to rearrange all traffic signs, even the army was called in to help. Also, a very low speed limit was applied, which was raised in number of steps. The whole process took about a month to prepare 